reading for February 16th, entitled, Recount God's Goodness. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Psalm 50, verse 23. God desires us to appreciate the great plan of redemption, to realize our high privilege as the people of God, and to walk before Him in obedience with grateful thanksgiving. He desires us to serve Him in newness of life with gladness every day. He longs to see gratitude welling up in our hearts because we have access to the mercy seat, the throne of grace, because our names are written in the Lamb's book of life, because we may cast all our care on Him who cares for us. He bids us rejoice because we are the heritage of the Lord, because the righteousness of Christ is the robe of His saints, because we have the blessed hope of the soon coming of our Savior. To praise God in fullness and sincerity of heart is as much a duty as is prayer. We are to show to all the heavenly intelligences that we appreciate the wonderful love of God for fallen humanity and that we are expecting larger and yet larger blessings from His infinite fullness. Far more than we do, we need to speak of the precious chapters in our experience. After a special outpouring of the Holy Spirit, our joy in the Lord and our efficiency in His service will be greatly increased by recounting His goodness and His wonderful works in behalf of His children. Such a testimony will have an influence upon others. No more effective means can we employ for winning souls to Christ. And our love is to be shown not only in words, but in deeds, in personal ministry and sacrifice. Christ says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. In his prayer to his Father, he said of his disciples, As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. John chapter 17, verse 18. And by the Holy Spirit, through the Apostle Peter, we are admonished, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Thus it is that God desires to fulfill for us His purpose of grace. By the power of His love, through obedience, fallen man, a worm of the dust, is to be transformed, fitted to be a member of the heavenly family, a companion through eternal ages of God and Christ and the holy angels. Heaven will triumph, for the vacancies made by the fall of Satan and his host will be filled by the redeemed of the Lord taken from Manuscript 21, dated February 16, 1900, entitled, God's Love Manifested.